Hi guys, I'm Matt from MSK Australia. We had a great question on our members forum from our MSK Academy from Lynn. Um, she just wanted to know about poplar tool artery entrapment and a, a couple of things. What's the extent of that anatomical length of the poplar tool artery? And also uh, things like differentiating the muscles of plantaris and popliteus and, and also about our ciliar sling. We're going to run through a, a few of these things. So, um, popliteal artery entrapment. So what are the clinical signs of this? It's um, exercise, exertional calf pain. So calf pain or calf cramping with exertion. It's usually worse with uh, stairs or uphill as people tend to go into more plantar flexion. Um, you know, symptoms can resolve quite quickly after exercise or you, they can get this persistent ache that goes on. So let's just have a little look at our anatomy. So here we are, I like to pick up uh, right at the knee crease, I like to pick up my popliteal artery there. And what we can do is we can follow our popliteal artery up and we'll just show the full extent of this artery. So artery will come up and it will go through the adductor hiatus between our adductor magnus and our femur. So this is the start of our popliteal artery, the extension of our superficial femoral artery. So it will pass through here with the vein, come on down. We can see it here. And we can see our medial and lateral heads of the gastroc coming in over the top. This is where we'll also see our plantaris. Our plantaris has its attachment just a little superior and medial to our lateral gastroc. Uh, Kate, our model here, doesn't really have a, a good plantaris to show you at all, but that would be coming through and sliding through just next to the lateral gastroc to form its tendon in over here. So we'll see a muscle form and- yeah, so what we do, if we're unsure we're seeing a muscle, we'll come down and we want to see right in the middle of this medial gastro, we want to see a little UFO almost, a little, little tendon sitting in this little fascial layer here. And if we follow that down, we'll see it gliding across towards the Achilles as we come up. We'll see it move a little bit across and form its musculotendinous junction, usually at around the level of that ciliar sling, which we'll get to in a minute. So it will form its musculotendinous junction, it will form its muscle, and it will come up and around the lateral gastroc to insert high. So that's those, so medial lateral gastroc. And as we come down, we've, we now have our popliteus coming in under our artery here with our lateral and medial gastrocs over the top. As we come down now, our ciliar sling Oh, I'll just get to the end. So the distal end of our popliteal artery is obviously our tibioperoneal trunk and our anterior tibial artery coming off there. So we can see those quite easily along where the artery comes down and just where it flattens out, that's your tibial perineal trunk. So if we follow up in long, it's usually easiest to appreciate that ciliar sling or ciliar arch uh, in our long axis and it can be a, a little bit hard to see, but... So the muscle underneath there? Muscle underneath is our popliteus. Over the top here is our ciliaus. And we can see that ciliaus come up to a point. This is quite a, a high point here on Cape, um, but we can see it there. Our ciliaus has an insertion off the upper quarter of our fibula and the mid third of our tibia and the sling will wrap across between those two. So we're looking at, at knowing it's that oblique orientation and we can see that little point. So that's going to be our little ciliar sling right there. So that's our anatomy. Uh, what else do we have to cover? We've got that all down. What we want to do is we basically want to follow this artery through and look for any deviation, any variation. Sometimes it, it may come around that uh, medial gastroc head and come right around. There might be an extra accessory head of our medial gastroc where we'll have that slip around it. But we're looking for a nice smooth contour all the way through that it's not deviating. We're also looking for any plaque, 
any th thrombus or occlusion within the artery. We want to be aware of that. And uh, we're also looking for any indentation, any irregularity along the way. So that's all the way through there. Now, once we're happy that with our anatomy and we, we haven't seen any concerning area, what we want to do is we want to try it in various um, stresses of plantar flexion. So best assessed in long to, and transverse, I find. So at first we'll have just an assistant help with a bit of forced plantar flexion. So we'll have the patient push their toes down into the hand and we can have a look and assess. We can see that Kate is actually... Just relax. We'll just take some pressure off there. We've got our artery again. Just gently push down into it. And as we gently push down, we can see that soleus pushing down and closing down a little bit. Push a little bit more, harder, harder, harder. As we go, we've got occlusion and we know where we're at there. So that's not too much force. What we might do is, if we want to assess that, we might even just have a look at the asymptomatic side and see if that's consistent for the patient and just match symptoms with what we're seeing there. So Kate blocked off quite easily. Didn't even need the colour on that time to see it. We can put our colour on here and uh, I'm actually not on vascular at the moment, so it's probably going to be a great big mess down there. So. Easy just to try a little assessment and press. When we're thinking about Botoxing, particularly if we haven't seen an abnormal variant of a muscle, it will be about Botoxing this popliteus muscle. So here's our artery here. Our popliteus runs obliquely. As we know, it's got its insertion over, or well, origin over in the popliteal fossa under the lateral collateral ligament, and then it comes across on an oblique orientation. I'll just open that up. So this oblique orientation coming across and under. So if we want to inject, we're going to come from our medial side away from our nerves and just come in and inject under there with our Botox. Yeah, my, my landmark for popliteus is just go long on the tibia, on the back of the tibia and long. Yeah. And it's got the muscle at the back of it. On the back of the knee joint, come down imperially. Yeah, knee joint down, little popliteus, artery generally over the top. That's one of the variations we look for coming under when we're looking for our popliteal entrapment.